So the Sergei Kovalev Anthony Yard fight has finally been confirmed for August 24th in Chelyabinsk, which is Sergei Kovalev's hometown. It's taken a long time to get to this point. There was obviously a previous date given for this fight, but it never happened. There's been widespread speculation as to what the delay in announcing this fight was all about, why it didn't happen first time around. Of course, I was speculating that Kovalev still has some problems resolving this legal issue, which has been hanging over his head for a long time now. We haven't heard anything since in terms of whether it's been resolved or not. Uh, the, there was also talk of Kovalev being in negotiations for fights with Canelo Alvarez and also talk about him being in the light heavyweight version of the World Boxing Super Series. There was also talk of a dispute between Team Kovalev and Team Yard over Varda testing. Again, all of this stuff is rumor. But no explanation has been given so far by Team Yard or Team Kovalev as to what the delay was all about. Will we find out in upcoming weeks? I don't know. I guess it's irrelevant if the fight is actually going to happen. But will it actually happen? Will it get pushed back again? We've got a nice poster out now and we've got, I guess, the fight put up on BoxRec. I haven't checked, to be fair. I'm assuming it's, it's up on BoxRec. Um, will it go ahead? And if it does, who are you guys picking to win? Uh, are you concerned about the Vada situation? If there was Vada testing, would your prediction be any different than if there's no Vada testing? Let me know how you feel. Anthony Yard, I mean, I don't know if the money has changed now, but initially the rumor was that he'd been offered several million pounds to fight Sergei Kovalev in Russia. Is that still the case? Is that the reason why Team Yard are putting him in there? Because the money is just too good to refuse. Because remember, Tundi Ajayi had long said, we ain't going to Russia. Sergei Kovalev has to come to the UK. And now he's making out as though it was all a ploy. It was all just a way of trying to force Team Kovalev's hand and get them to pay them the money which they wanted. I'm dubious about that. I think that uh, Tunde Ajayi is trying to style it out, as we used to say back in the days. I think he's trying to style it out. I don't think he had any intention of letting Anthony Yard go to Russia. But when he heard the kind of money that they're paying, he thought, you know what? I want a slice of that money as Anthony Yard's trainer. This is my opinion here, people. Okay, I don't have any proof, but this is my best guess as to the thought process of Tunde Ajayi when he heard the amount of money which was being offered to his fighter to go fight Kovalev in Russia. In the UK, a trainer gets, what is it, 15%, a professional trainer of the fighter's purse. If Antley Yard is getting, what was it, 3 million, 4 million to fight Sergei Kovalev in Russia, you do the math. That's a lot of money for Tunde Ajayi. So anyway, should this fight take place, how's it going to go down? How will Anthony Yard adapt to fighting in Sergei Kovalev's hometown? Will he be able to go over there and just treat it like another day in the office? A ring is just a ring. Not be intimidated by the situation at all. Bear in mind, Anthony Yard didn't have an extensive amateur background. He wasn't one of these members of Team GB who was flying around the world, competing in amateur competitions in different countries? No, that wasn't Anthony Yard. Anthony Yard competed, I think, in the Haringey Box Cup, and that's as far as it got. He never went around the world fighting. Now, he did fight in the United States early on in his career against some journeymen, and there was very few people in the crowd at the time when he had that fight. I think that was in Texas, correct me if I'm wrong. And that's good experience. But it's not a competitive fight. It's not a hostile atmosphere. This Kovalev fight is going to be a whole different kettle of fish. And obviously a far better opponent. Will he be able to cope? Will he be able to deal with him? I think that if you look at Anthony Yard's physical attributes. 
he has things there which, if used the right way, could trouble Sergei Kovalev. I think he's got punching power enough to trouble Kovalev. I think he's got hand speed enough to trouble Kovalev. But will he be able to use those things in the ring effectively? Because it's not just about what you have. It's about worrying about what the other man has and what he's throwing back at you. And when I say worrying, I don't mean worrying yourself to death. I just mean taking the necessary measures tactically and, te and technically to avoid getting hit by the other man's big shots. Can Anthony Yard even take a shot? We don't know. We've never seen him in a competitive fight. Tunde Ajaye has kept him out of competitive fights thus far. In fact, when pushed on the issue, Tunde Ajaye has said, you'll never see Anthony Yard in a competitive fight, which is a very curious thing to say, but he's basically trying to make out as though Anthony Yard is so good that no matter who we put him in with, the fight won't be competitive. That's essentially what Tundi Ajayi is saying. And he's also kind of saying, we're going to match him right. He repeatedly said, they're trying to catch us while we're green and we're trying to catch them while they're gray. Or they're trying to catch us when we're green, we're trying to catch them when they're gray. <laughs> he's repeatedly said that. Has... Will that be the case in this fight? Has Anthony Yard caught Sergei Kovalev when he's gray? When he's old, past it, over the hill? I personally felt as though Sergei Kovalev's performance in the Alida Alvarez rematch, which was his most recent fight, although it's a long time away now, Kovalev is, will have been very inactive by the time he steps in the ring with Yard. I thought it was one of Sergei Kovalev's best performances in the Alida Alvarez rematch. I was very impressed. Boxing very nicely, keeping the fight under control, using his jab, using his feet. I was impressed by his fitness levels. And I had said before the fight that Buddy McGirt is a trainer who likes to get his fighters to box. He had Uturo Gatti back in the days who was a famous slugger and he turned that famous slugger into a boxer puncher in the latter stages of Gatti's career and Gatti had some you know decent wins boxing and moving he also worked with Paulie Malignaggi and of course Buddy McGirt himself was very good at sticking and moving when he was a professional fighter so you know I, I, I did speak before the Kovalev Alvarez fight about maybe Kovalev also going down that road because that's how McGirt likes his fighters to box. And indeed, that is how Kovalev boxed. So will Kovalev continue in that vein in this fight and try and box Anthony Yard? Or will he turn puncher again? Which would suit Anthony Yard more? Kovalev turning puncher and trying to seek and destroy or Kovalev boxing Anthony Yard? Will the fact that Kovalev is fighting in his hometown again, the first time since he fought Isaac Chalemba, I believe, will that affect the way Kovalev approaches the fight? Will he feel pressure to impress and score a knockout? When he fought Isaac Chalemba, it wasn't one of Kovalev's best performances. He did get caught quite a lot in that fight. Uh, and that was, was that in the run-up to... The Andre Ward fight? It was, wasn't it? That was in the run-up to the Ward fight. Correct me if I'm wrong. The first Ward fight. So, yeah. Going to be interesting. We know absolutely nothing at this point about Anthony Yard in terms of whether he can really fight or not. We know he's got athletic ability. We know he can do certain things technically well against limited opposition. But this is an enormous step up. I mean, just a vast step up from the likes of what was the guy the last guy that he fought Travis Reeves or Travis Reeve whatever he was called from that level to this level is I mean you're talking about worlds apart will Anthony Yard manage to bridge the gap successfully or will he go over there and get wiped out beaten up you know we'll see 
Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel. It's happening. I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week, covering a wide variety of controversial topics, as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.